If you can, please download or print out the worksheet on the description below so you can work with me. Forward scanning. Forward scanning is to help you to work out the earliest time to start on each activity. Backward scanning is to help you to work out the latest time that you can start on the activity. To do backward and forward scanning, we need to draw a box like this. The first box, EST, is the earliest time to start on the activity. The second box is the latest time that you can start on the activity. Let's do backward and forward scanning to work out the earliest and the latest time to start on each activity. So let's draw a box for activity A. So this, this box here is for activity A. So we start 0 and this box for activity B and it start at 0. To do activity C, of course we need to complete activity A first. In this example, the waiting for each activity is time in hours, okay? So to start on activity C, we first need to complete activity A first. So the earliest time you can start on activity C is 0 plus 5 is 5 hours. So you have to complete activity A before you can do activity C. And for activity E, so we need to complete activity B first. For activity B, it needs 7 hours to complete. So therefore we start 0, so 7 plus 0 is 7. Now to start on activity H or F, so we need to complete activity C and activity D first before you can start on H or F. So if we complete activity C, we need 17 hours because 12 plus 5 is 17. So I'll just write 17 on top first because we need to work out the earliest time that you can start. In another word, you need to complete activity C and D first. So to complete activity D, so we start at 7 and then you plus 9. 7 plus 9 is 16. So the earliest time that you can start on H or F is 17. Because if you write 16, you complete activity D, but you have not complete activity C. So therefore, the earliest time is 17. So that you make sure you complete activity D and C. In another word, you take the largest value for forward scanning. To begin with activity G, you need to complete activity F and activity E before you can start on activity G. So to complete activity F, so we use 17 plus 6, so which is 23. So I just write 23 out here first. To complete activity E, so we go 7 plus 10 is 17 hours. So therefore, the earliest time you can start on activity G is 23. Because if you write 17, you complete activity E, but you has not complete activity F. So therefore, you can't start on activity G. So we must complete both activity. So therefore, the earliest time is the largest value, so which is 23. To finish the project, you need to finish activity H and activity G first. To finish activity H, so 17 plus 8 is 25. So I just write 25 hours here. And to complete activity G, 23 plus 9. So 23 plus 9 is 32. So therefore, the largest value is 32. So 32. If you write 25 hours, is wrong. Because if you write 25, the activity G has not complete. So therefore, you cannot finish until you finish activity G and H. The earliest time that you can finish for the project is 32 hours. Now, let's use backward scanning to work out the latest starting time. The earliest finishing time is 32. So we write 32 here first. To come back to this activity E, so we go 32 minus 9. So 32 minus 9 is 23. To go back to activity C, so you either go this way or you can go this way back there. 
Remember, we're going backward. So we call backward scanning. Please take note, forward scanning, we take the largest value. Backward scanning, we take the smallest value. So therefore, if we go this way, we go 32 minus 8 is 24. So write 24 here first, because we still get this way to go. So you go, if you go this way, we take 23 minus 6. So 20 minus 6 is 14 at 317. So therefore, the smallest value is 17. So we take 17. So we go back to activity A. So go 17 minus 12. So 17 minus 12 is 5. So just write 5 here. To come back to activity B. So we either go this way and we from here as well. And then we take the smallest value. So we go 17 minus 9. So 10 minus 9 is 1 at 7 is 8. So just write 8 first. And then from this way. So we have 23. And then we minus 10 is 13. So therefore the smallest value is 8. So just write 8 down. Now for activity B. So 8 minus 7 is 1. For activity A we use 5 minus 5 which is 0. So for activity E, if you think about it, to start on activity E, the earliest time you can start is 7 hours later because we need to complete activity B first. And the latest time you can start on activity E is 8 hours. And to complete the project, we need 32 hours. That is the minimum time. Please stop the video and do backward and forward scanning to work out the earliest and the latest time to start each activity. So let's draw a box. This is for A first, activity A. And of course, starting at zero. And this is for activity B, this B here. And I just write here and start zero. For activity C, this one here. And it start at zero, of course, this is C. To start on activity D, that's where you start and you need to complete activity C first. So it takes two hours and these waiting are hours, okay? So it takes two hours. So two plus zero is two. So we take two. Remember, forward scanning take the largest value. To start activity E, we need to complete activity B first. So that is zero plus three is three hours. To start on activity H, we need to complete activity E and activity D first. To finish activity E, we use three plus three, which is six, I write here first. And to complete activity D, we use two plus five is seven. To make sure it complete both activity, so we need seven hours. Then to start on activity G, we need to complete activity A, that is 10 hours. And we need to complete activity F as well before we can start on activity G. So to complete activity F, 3 plus 5, which is 8. But then 10 is larger, so we take 10 hours. Now to finish the project, we need to complete activity G and we need to complete activity H. To complete activity G, so we go 10 plus 2 is 12. I write 12 out here first. And then to complete activity H, 7 plus 3, which is 10. If you finish activity H, G has not complete. So therefore, we make sure we finish activity G first. So it's 12 hours. So we just write 12. So if you finish activity G, definitely you finish activity H. Now we use backward scanning to work out the latest time to start each activity. So this is 12 hours here. So the finishing is 12 hours. So we write 12 hours here as well. To go back to activity D or E. So we go 12 minus 3. So 12 minus 3 is 9. So we just write 9 here. Now to go back to activity B. It's either going this way or it going this way, right? 
So we need to fill up this box first. To do this, so we go 12 minus 2, which is 10. So I'll write this 10 down. Now, to work out this value here, so to do this, if we go from here, we go 9, 9 minus 3, which is 6. So we just write 6 down first. And then from here to here, so we go 10 minus 5. So the answer is 5. So therefore, the smallest value is 5. We write down 5. Remember, backward scanning, you take the smallest value. Forward scanning, you take the largest value. Please keep that in mind. Very important. We go back to where it starts. So we go start from 10. We go back here. That is 10 minus 10. So which is 0. That is for activity A. And then for activity B, so we can start from 5. We go back. So minus 3, which is 2. So we just write 2 down. To come back to C, of course, I need to fill this box first. So we're going to start from 9. We go minus 5. So this is 9 minus 5, so which is 4. So we fill up 4 here. And then to go back, we go 4 with minus 2 here, so which is 2. There you go. Now, if you look at activity H, the earliest start is 7 hours, and the latest you can start is 9 hours. And the duration of this activity is 3 hours, if you like. To work it out, you can just go 12 minus 9, it gives you 3. That is the duration for the activity H. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. This is for activity A. Of course, we start with 0. And this is for activity B. And of course, we start with 0 as always. And activity C is 0. To start activity E or D, we need to complete activity A first. So it takes 6 hours. So therefore, you cannot start activity E or D until 6 hours later. That is when activity A is complete. To start on activity G, we need to complete activity C first. So 0 plus 5 is 5. To start on activity F, we need to complete activity D, activity B, and activity C. Because this is a dummy activity, it shows that we need to complete activity C before we can do activity F. So we need to complete all these activity first. To complete activity D, so we go 6 plus 4, is 10. We write this down first. To complete activity B, 0 plus 5 is 5. I write 5 down first. To complete activity C, 5. I just write this 5 down. Just this 5 because the dummy activity has no weighting. Okay. So the largest value is 10. So which is the earliest time you can start is 10 hours. To start on activity H, so we need to complete E activity F and activity G first. So we need to work out the earliest time I can start. So 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. I write this down first so I can see which one is the largest value, okay? And then 10 plus 8 is 18. I just write 18 down here. 5 plus 12 is 17. So you can see 18 is the largest value just write 18 down. To finish the project, I need to complete activity H. So 18 plus 8 is 26. Now I can use backward scanning to work out the latest time to start on each activity. So the finishing time is 26. So I write 26 down here first. And to come back, so we go 26 minus 8 is 18. So just write 18 down. So to go in activity F, so we can use 18 minus 8, which is 10. I write 10 down. And to go back to activity A, 
So we go either go this way, which is 18 minus 9, which is 9. Or I can either go this way as well. So which is 10 minus 4 is 6. So the smallest value is 6. So therefore, I take 6. Now to come back to activity C, so we go 18 minus 12. 18 minus 12 is 6. Or I can go from 10, we come back, so this is 10. So the smallest value is 6. So therefore, the answer is 6 here. Now to go back to A, where is that? So 6 minus 6 is 0. Now for B, we go 10 minus 5, that is 5. And for C, so from 6, we minus 5, so that is 1. Thank you so much for watching.